Where are my keys? Keys, keys, keys. Where are my keys? <laughs> I just set up my car alarm and one of my coworkers saw and he's laughing at me. This is my life. Okay, my car is started. How are you guys? <laughs> I'm good. It is lunchtime. It's actually after lunchtime, really. And I'm just gonna run across the street to the parking lot and do a car chat with you because I have missed you guys. How has everybody been? I've been good. I've been good. It's been kind of a busy time, but that's good. Good busy. Um, fall is here. And I just got a magazine in the mail. So that's fun. And I also got some happy mail. So I am going to share those with you. I'm just gonna park under my favorite tree here. Well, my favorite tree. It's a nice tree, I'll say that. Hopefully it's not too dark. And I'll open the windows a little. There. Ah. <sighs> And maybe you'll hear the birds singing because I always sit under this tree and there's a lot of bird feeders nearby. So that's good too. All right. So, oh, I look crazy. I look like a maniac. <laughs> first things first, I think I have some scissors in my car and I'm going to need them. Does anybody else keep scissors in their car? I don't know why I do, but they come in handy. <laughs> that looks very dangerous. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna keep those for part two. Part one is my new magazine. I did it. I subscribed to Crochet World and I'm so far not disappointed. This is my first issue and it is the fall issue. I think they're quarterly. Oh, maybe not. It says October 21st. Maybe it's a monthly. <laughs> I probably should have checked into that, huh? Anyway, it's got this really cute blanket on the front, which is adorable. And it's got, this is something I really like about this magazine, is it shows all of the projects that it has right on the back and side cover. So like that's the back cover. And those are all of the projects that it has for the month. So if you wanna just take a quick look at what you might wanna you know, make that month, you can just find it in the back and it's got the page number handy. So I really like that blanket and I really like this red one too. So the red one's on page 48. Let's see how much yarn we'll need for that one. Probably a ton. 46, 47, page 48. Okay, so it's called the Autumn Comfort Throw. And there it is, isn't it pretty? And for materials, it says you need 10 skeins of burgundy red heart super saver. So that's good. There we go. I do like that. It's pretty. Love that red color. Anyway, so that's my crochet world magazine so far. Oh, this blanket also is beautiful. Look at this. It looks like maple leaves all stacked up. It's so pretty. I love that. And that one uses Lion Brand Woolies and it, it uses super bulky weight yarn. So seven skeins of cilantro, two skeins of butterscotch, two skeins of pumpkin, and two skeins of spice. Those are the colors, by the way. <laughs> so um, yeah, I bet that works up pretty quick because it's super bulky yarn. I love that. So pretty. So yeah. Those are some dream projects. I need more time. I know I say it all the time. I'm very whiny about it, but I need more time. I want to make all this stuff and there's not enough time. <laughs> okay, so my second exciting mail. 
came from. Ba -ba -da. Oh, I don't want to show her address. Rose Cottage Studio sent me some happy mail. What? Why did you do that? That was so nice of you. Certainly, certainly unexpected. Should we see what's inside? I think we should. And that is why you always carry scissors in your car. Because you never know when you're going to go to the post office and get a special present. So, I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to show you what's inside. Oh my goodness, I see lots of pretty blue. Oh my gosh, look at this. Some tea, honey bush mandarin orange, and lemon delight. Oh, Rose, I do love herbal tea, like fruity tea. Mm hmm. That's so fun. Thank you so much. And there's a beautiful card here crocheting forever. And Doris says, this crochet card is for your use. Enjoy the yarn. See, she didn't put anything inside it, and the envelope is blank too, so I can go ahead and use this card and send it to someone else. So that is so nice. Thank you so much, Doris. What a thoughtful thing to do. Oh, don't you love crocheters? Crocheters are the best. They're the nicest people. And there's a reason why this bag was so bulky and it's because holy cow look at this yarn 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 simply soft by karen oh i love this blue and look how shiny it is it's so pretty this is karen simply soft the colorway is azul campo well in spanish Blue champagne, uh, uh, bleu champagne in French, and country blue in English. So that's the color country blue. And 315 yards of skein. This is a four weight yarn, recommends a five millimeter hook, which just happens to be the size of my favorite hook. Oh, that's beautiful. So there are three skeins of this. So pretty. Oh, Rose, you shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> so three beautiful skeins of that denim blue yarn. And there's more. There's more. There are three skeins. This is also Karen Simply Soft. Oops, there we go. Three skeins of Karen Simply Soft. And this is soft blue. Blue de Azul Suave. <laughs> I'm sure my accent is wrong. And I'm sure that people who speak Spanish and French are cringing right now with my terrible accents. But at least I tried. <laughs> so um, this is the same as far as yarn weight. Yep, it's a size four. Recommends a five millimeter hook. And it's so soft, you guys. I wish we had um, touch a vision <laughs> so you could see how soft it is. Very, very sweet. So thank you so much, Rose. I, I keep saying Rose, and her name is Doris. <laughs> it's Rose Cottage Studios. Um, thank you so much, Doris. That was incredibly thoughtful of you. And um, I've heard from my yarny friends when I was so surprised that I got this. They said, oh, that's just Doris. That's how she is. She does that fairly often. So. We know who you are, Doris. We know what you do. You do random acts of kindness, and that is awesome. So thoughtful. Okay, so what else is going on? I haven't had many projects to show you lately, and there's a reason for it. Let me stop rattling this bag around. Let me put this away, and then I'll tell you about what I've been working on. I think I'm done making noise. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I've been working on a big project. 
Can you guys see me over my steering wheel? I don't know. How's that? Is that better? Um, I've been working on a big project. It's an Afghan and it is it works in panels and I've been designing it myself using this uh, stitch that's kind of a new to me stitch and it's almost done and I just haven't had a chance to finish it but as soon as it's done I want to write up the pattern and I want to um, make the tutorial and I want to put it all out there at the same time because I'm really excited about it I hope you guys love it but I'm trying to keep it a secret so so hard <laughs> so that's why I haven't told you much about it and I haven't had a lot to show you or share um, because it's been taking up all of my time. Afghans do that and <laughs> they take up all your time. So that's what I've been working on. I've also been busy working on other things that um, are yarn related, but not utilizing yarn. Does that make sense? Like I've been working on the website. I've been working on a lot of yarn hookers um, stuff as well. And um, it's just been keeping me super busy. So I'm excited about it though. I'm really excited about the website. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out, www.whippychick.com. And also there's now a website for the Yarn Hookers. Um, so that's www.yarnhookerslive.com. So if you go on either of those websites, you're able to have links to all of our patterns and all of our social media and our Facebook groups and all that stuff. So it keeps you busy though, you know, once you, once you get those things started, then you have to constantly be updating them and um, that sort of thing. But I like it. I like updating that stuff. It's fun. Keeps me busy though, for sure. <laughs> for sure. So it's definitely a hobby. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all that I've got going on right now, though. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. I hope that you'll stop by and see us on Friday. Not Friday. I hope you'll stop by and see us on Saturday um, for Yarn Hookers Live. We are going to be at my channel this week, right here on the Whippy Chick Crochet Channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we are going to be talking about color and... Um, how to pick the right colors and put them together to make things so cool. I don't know about you, but I see some of these um, beautiful crochet projects that people make and I think, how do they pick the right colors? Those colors go amazing together. I would have never thought to put them together and yet they work so well. Um, so that is what we're going to be talking about. A lot of color theory and how to find the right colors and different things you can do if you're not so great at it like me. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope you join us because I think it's going to be really, really a good episode. And um, it'll be fun, of course, as well. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it. I think I'm going to let you go here. I hope you're having a great, great day. And um to see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and all the YouTube stuff. Okay guys, see you later. Bye-bye.